Well hello there and welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are new then hello, lovely to meet you. My name is Alex and if you are new here make sure you stick around and subscribe if you're not new and you've been here for a while then why not make sure that notification bell is switched on just so you're notified of every single time that I upload. Now firstly if you're wondering about this makeup I've got on at the moment, it's obviously very dark neutral and I absolutely love it, then go back and watch my uh, chit chat get rid of me. I also tested a bunch of new makeup so yeah if you have not seen that yet definitely recommend you go over and watch that but for today's video I have my like first fashion related video to go up since I sort of changed my channel up and we've got a huge sheen try on haul I'm so excited to test all this stuff out and by test I mean try it all on I've got makeup on the brain. Um, I'm so excited to try all this stuff on. I haven't actually tried any of it on yet, which, you know, should have probably done that before I filmed this video, but hey ho. Um, this is, as I said, going to be a try on haul. So as I'm telling you about the clothes, you will see videos of me actually trying them on and I'll tell you like in the clips, thumbs up or thumbs down if it don't fit or anything. Um, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. So we have a lot of stuff to get through. So let's get started. I'm gonna start off with accessories because they're a little bit easier to show you and stuff and then we can get into the clothes. The first thing is a bag and I love bags. I will buy all the bags. I have currently two more colors of this bag in my sheen basket because I love this bag this, that much. Um, and this is what it looks like. How flipping cute is this? This was like £4.99 and it looks like you'd spend like 30 pound in River Island for one of these. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just a cute little little shoulder bag. Looks like this, but oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. The color, the croc. I feel like this croc is very in at the moment. There's a lot of bags with this like croc print on, and I think this would just be perfect for nights out and stuff. So I'm obsessed with this. The quality also feels really good as well. And then you have like a decent amount of space in here. It's not too too small but you'd have enough room in here to fit your like wallet, your phone, your keys and a lipstick. So yeah, I'm super happy with this. I'm going to get a pink one and I think a brown one as well, but this is super cute and I'm very happy with it. Okay, I actually got a couple of hats. Um, I don't know what on earth I was thinking or who I think I am. I don't wear hats at all, but I just thought these were super cheap and I might as well try them for like cute outfit picks and stuff. I don't think I'd actually wear these like out and about do you know what i mean but i got a federo is it federo hat one of these ones that you like put on like this and it just looks really cute like not like this though because i've got my hair up but like these cute little hats that you put on with your hair down you've got a cute little summer outfit on and i just really like i like the look of these but on me i don't think they look good do you know what i mean i think these suit a lot of people me though i don't think it does suit me this costs about £4.49, um, so it obviously doesn't break the bank and that's why I don't spend a lot of money on accessories like this because I know I'm probably not going to wear it. But I just bought it for the banter anyway and just to see if I would look okay in it. The other problem I have is that I have a small head, so it like I don't want to put it down, but like look, this is me like pulling it down. So it covers the majority of my forehead and I think I'm just taking a bit of makeup off as well. But yeah, so I bought this for the banter. I also bought this hat for the banter because I know for a fact that I would never wear this outside. I bought a bucket hat. Who do I think I am? I don't know. This is absolutely huge by the way. So um, yeah, I look like I'm on like a safari desert tour. Do you know what I mean? Like this is just, this is not a bit of me. It really isn't. It's a big hat so it just doesn't fit my head properly i think this was literally like two pound fifty yeah two pound fifty for this so if you're looking for bucket hats definitely check out sheen because they are really cheap it does feel like really nice quality um but these hats are not for me okay so i bought a lot of like wardrobe essentials like cute little tops that would look good with like a lot of outfits um what is this first one because i don't not know Oh my god, this is cute. I've actually got a different colour of this in my basket at the moment. So this is like a nice going out top. 
it is long sleeve it is ribbed I have a feeling this could be slightly see-through but we'll see um, and it basically just has a wrap front detail and then it's like comes in at the bottom i got this in a small and this is only seven pounds like hello these with some cute jeans and nice boots or heels like would look so flipping nice i just went and showed frank this top and he approves it can't imagine why um <laughs> so i thought i'd pick up that i'm a sucker for a nice top right you look at my wardrobe I mostly wear comfortable stuff all the time, mind you, right? I live in comfortable wear. But I love a good going out top, so I'm always buying them. Even though I hardly go out, especially at the moment where we can't go out. Um, but I cannot wait for when we can start going out and I can start wearing all of these cute outfits. The quality of this actually feels quite nice. It is a little bit thin, but the overall quality and feel of it actually feels really decent. And for £7, you cannot go wrong. Ah, I bought a lot of these types of tops. I feel like these are very in at the moment. I don't know I don't know who started the trend, but someone started it because these little like racer t-shirts are so in at the moment. It's like a tank top. Um this cost £3.99. Like hello, that's like as cheap as Primark. Um it has a little bit of a raised neck. The only thing is this is super thin like you can see my hand through that <laughs> the good thing about these though is this is the type of top i would wear underneath a jacket um so you only see like this part of it anyway i'm a bit self-conscious my arms so i don't know if i'd actually wear this on its own i don't know i'd have to see how i feel about it um with this i got this in a medium because i mean this looks absolutely tiny anyway and if you're like me and you're a bit shorter, you've got a little bit more bigger boobs, I'd definitely um, size up because, yeah, this even this one is a little bit tiny. The only thing I'm a bit worried about is this armhole size. That could be an issue, but again, I will find that out when I dry it on. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to speak in this part, but I might as well be wearing my bra out. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is so see through like the black one's not too bad with a black bra but the white is just it's just too see through i don't think i'd be able to wear this unless i had a jacket on because you just you just see all of this you know it's just it's not a good look okay i bought this long sleeve it's a long sleeve cropped as you can see cropped zip up detail t-shirt this cost me seven pounds 49 was it seven pound 49 yeah seven pound 49 and i got this in a medium because i just feel like their sizes is quite small like i feel like this would fit me comfortably if i was to get a small it'd probably be really tight and uncomfortable and i hate tight and uncomfortable clothing i'd rather it be a little bit more baggier or bigger just so i feel more comfy um this feels quite thin actually and it is see-through like i can see through it um but it does look really nice and i imagine this with a pair of like blue jeans and a pair of boots or like knee-high boots or something like that would look sick this little zip-up detail is really cute you can actually pull it down so you can have it a little bit more relaxed and a little bit more of like a collar look rather than like a straight up like turtleneck so yeah I love this and i also bought that white tank top in black because you know when i find something i like i have to buy it in a couple of colors i bought this in a medium again um again very see-through um feels on the cheap side but these are very cheap so it doesn't surprise me if i spent 15 pounds on this i would be very disappointed but the fact that these are only like what four pounds something really not complaining um and again this would be something i'd wear under a jacket or some some or some some or something like that so yeah that is another t-shirt i bought oh i bought a couple of bodysuits actually because i don't know i really like bodysuits um and i bought this color is a little bit ugly i don't know how i feel about it it looked a bit more cream on the website and this is a little bit more of a pow yellow do you see what I mean? Um, this is basically one of those, um, what sort of neck would you call this? What do they call it? This is part of the Sheen Basics range. This is the solid cami bodysuit and this was £6.49. 
I got mine in a medium because with bodysuits, did, why did I get it in a medium? I confuse myself with my sizes, I swear. I got it in a medium because, I don't know, I find smaller bodysuits are very uncomfortable on like the this part of the bodysuit. And if I don't do it up, it's really not the end of the world. Um, but I just bought one of these, like, it look, almost looks like a halter neck, doesn't it? Um, and yeah, again, just a nice t-shirt to wear with jeans or under a jacket or something. It looks, it looks quite big for me. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to try it on and see. It might be a bit loose, but again, that's something for the try on haul bit. This bit looks big enough though to be comfortable. Um, and yeah, not a fan of the colour. I was hoping it would be a bit more cream, but it honestly looks a bit yellowy. Oh, and I bought the exact same thing, but in brown. I love a brown um, piece of clothing as well. I'm more of a white, black, grey, brown kind of gal. As much as I love my pink, I don't... Um, do you know what? That's actually telling a lie, I do have a lot of pink in my wardrobe, but I mostly wear neutral colours. Um, and this is such a beautiful chocolate brown um, and it's exactly the same thing bodysuit halter neck um, and I can't wait to try these on I really should have done that before I filmed this video but obviously I was not prepared um, again the only thing I'm worried about is this armhole I'm hoping it's gonna fit okay and if not I'm gonna cry um, but we will try that later on and I'll let you know in the try on clips if it fits. Okay, so I bought this lounge top for £8.49. Fully thinking the whole set cost £8.49 but it was just the top in the end. I was well shocked when it turned up and it was just the top. I have put the bottoms in my basket ready for when I make my next order because I'm a sucker for sheen. I absolutely love it. Um, but basically it's just this like brown brownie grey knitted loungewear top it's cuffed in at the sleeves and it's not cropped or anything it's just a nice length top like this would be perfect for like just during work when i'm just like lounging um and not dressing up or anything like this actually feels really nice and soft as well um it is a little bit see-through i don't know if you're about to see that it's a little bit see-through but i mean for again that price i cannot complain okay we have a few more clothing items then i have a couple more odd bits oh i bought this cute black top it kind of like sits on your chest like that and you like pull up the sleeves like this um it's long sleeved it is a cropped black top and then it has this like ribbed there you go you can see that this like ribbed detail on it what is this one called this is a sweetheart neck frill trim ruched top got this in the small and it costs seven pounds 99 you can get loads of discount codes on Sheen, so you'd get these a little bit cheaper as well. This actually feels really soft and really nice quality. It's got a bit of a stretch to it, um, and it looks like it'd be super comfortable. So I'm so excited about this. You can always dress up an outfit with like shoes and like good accessories and stuff. So I feel like this would be perfect for like a night out that's a little bit more chilled rather than like nightclubbing, if you know what I mean. Okay, I bought another bodysuit. This looks big. I'm very, very worried. I feel like these bodysuits are not going to fit me. Um, I bought this like similar to the um, tank tops, but this is a bodysuit. This is a chocolate brown colour. It's very stretchy, or not very stretchy, but it is quite stretchy, which is nice. It has a bit of a turtleneck, which you will roll down like this. And yeah, it feels really like silky and very good quality like this is much better than the other tank tops but i think that's because this is a bodysuit and not like just a regular t-shirt so i got this in a medium and this cost six pounds 99 very very affordable i flipping love sheen like so affordable like but some bits are really good quality with sheen it's a little bit hit and miss um some things are really good for the price some things you can tell is a very is made with very cheap material i forgot to even discuss shipping times i think it come in about a week after i ordered it or just over a week so the shipping times aren't as long as you might think it would be um, and you get tracking and stuff so i think using the sheen i actually use the app uh, using the sheen website and the sheen app very easy to use and very fast shipping so i do recommend sheen also when you're on the sheen website and you're looking for clothes read the reviews like oh my goodness people go in on the reviews like 
if a product is bad people will tell you about it if it's good people will tell you about it so if you see something on there you really like it but you're not sure definitely go and watch the reviews even on like underwear and stuff people are fully like in the mirror like in their underwear and telling you if it's good quality or not like there is no filter on sheen people are brutally honest but that is a good thing okay last item of clothing oh my god okay so i got these trousers and i am so sad because these are super long and if you don't know i'm five foot one so i'm very short um these are beautiful they have like um an elasticated waist they're ribbed but they're like more wide leg and on at the bottom they are slightly um what's that word called they're just slightly wide at the bottom um but these look like they'd be super long super long on me like i'll try it on and you'll see the bottoms are probably going to be hanging at the bottom of my legs maybe with some really high heels they might work but i know for just like regular wear they will be too long i love these types of clothing but i just feel like i don't know if i suit them or not um so places like sheen is a good way to do that because they're really affordable um but if you're short like me and you've found some like really good like wide bottom trousers please let me know which ones to check out because i do want to start incorporating those into my wardrobe okay so those are all the clothes i also picked up these uh, this is a pack of um how many is in here 10 is a pack of 10 like really really thin uh, brushes they are like painting brushes but if you do like detailed looks on your eyes and stuff definitely buy like brushes like this because they're super thin and it just makes it easier to make them like thin lines that you need and i just thought for 99p i'm gonna pick these up don't go spending like 15 pounds on expensive brush sets Go on Sheen, these are 99p and they're so flipping good. They also do like makeup brush sets and sponges and literally anything they do it on Sheen. If you would like, I know it's a very old trend now, but if you'd like me to test out their makeup brushes and stuff, let me know and I can definitely do that for you. Okay, last couple of things. I bought a couple packs of rings. Um, I actually can't wear fake jewellery because it makes my skin go green um, so I don't know why I purchased these but I did want to anyway because I really love the trend of like the rings at the top of your finger and the bottom of your finger and these were these sets so I got a gold pack and i also got a silver pack i will obviously link like everything down below silver pack were 99p and the gold pack were 99p as well so i just thought for the sake of a quid i might as well get them and like try them on and see what i think so i can't wear things like this for a long period of time the worst reactions i get are mainly from my ears and my neck so if i wear fake earrings and my ears get really irritated and red and itchy if i wear necklaces that are not real like silver and stuff they uh, it goes green <laughs> so i can't really wear fake jewelry but i wanted to get some anyway just for, like cute pictures and stuff like that do you know what i mean like we've got to get cute pictures and i just feel like jewelry is like an essential accessory to like outfit pictures and stuff so i thought i'd pick these up like do you not think that looks really cute the bottom ring and then the top ring imagine my nails done as well like that would look even better um, but i just love this whole like trend of like the smaller rings at the top of your fingers um and i just thought for 99p i might as well try them i don't know how to show you rings but these <laughs> this is what they look like and then i obviously got the silver pack as well i'm more of a silvery jewelry gal um i have a necklace that is silver that i wear literally every single day this is what frank got me uh the first year we got together um so i picked up this silver pack because i am as i said more of a silver gal and then if i just show you quickly what this pack looks like so these are what the silver ones looks like obviously not all of them i've got a few more here but these are a couple of what they look like i don't know i just i love the look of it i think it looks really cute okay guys so that is absolutely everything that i bought from sheen um as i mentioned i have got another basket on the go i'm definitely gonna wait until my paypal paying free clears and then i'll make another order um i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed the try on aspect of it as well because usually in the past i 
have done one try on haul before but that was ages ago so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button let me know down below do you shop from sheen have you ever shop from them in the past what did you think of them i would love to know and of course if you haven't already please subscribe down below and i will see you in my next video bye